One of the great features of Cubot V3 and V3 Pro is the ability to create new designs without the need to use other software. Although these options are limited, they do provide an easy means of creating new designs from scratch. We will use the line quilting function for this project. Line quilting is likely the most underused and most powerful functions with lots of possibilities in the V3 program. We will use one of these features to create new digital designs. How many times have you loaded a quilt, looked at the design, and envisioned a stitch that will work perfectly? You search your library only to find out that you don't have a design that you like you envisioned. Why purchase design if you can create it yourself easily? If you can draw the design on paper or photocopy something that we were thinking of, you may well be able to create them from scratch with V3. There are two general types of digital designs. There are single segment and multi-segment. The one on the left is a single segment design. The one on the right is a multi-segment design. The difference in a single segment design is that one can be completed in a single stitch. You can create these with V3. A multi-segment design is one that contains two or more segments into a single design. This requires you stitch out each of the segments in separate steps. To create multi-segment designs, you'll need V3 Pro, although both can be stitched with V3 or V3 Pro. This is a single segment hand-drawn design like the one we'll be using in this demo. This can be stitched uninterrupted, but is not chainable. You could connect multiple instances of them if you use the link function in V3 Pro, since the start and stop positions are not aligned and opposite each other. This is the same hand-drawn design that is chainable due to the addition of lead-in and lead-out lines you can see from the center of the wheels. For this demo, we will create a chainable design. If there are a number of turns in your design, it may help if you provide yourself with direction arrows. This helps prevent getting lost or skipping part of your design or having to overtrace a section. You can see in design how I have laid out each turn and direction and numbered them to help from getting lost. Take your time, and if necessary, select the undo command to back up to where you went wrong or marked a point out of place. It works best if you photocopy your design and enlarge it as much as possible up to the vertical limit of your quilt head. As an example, if you have an 18 inch head, you likely have approximately 14 inches of usable vertical space. A 26 inch head, about 22 inches of vertical space. Depending on your quilt machine and the frame, these numbers may be different. The point is, the larger the sample, the easier it is to use and allows you to follow the path more smoothly. Once created, you would shrink down the design for use and save it in that size. This also helps with any small alignment errors, small zigs or zags in your tracing, as it will be less noticeable once resized down. Since we are going to be tracing the stitch path, I really, really recommend you use a laser. It is not required but you will get much more precise and smooth tracings with its use. It is much more difficult to follow the path looking down through the presser foot to get the placement correct, if even possible. You are more likely to end up with zigs or zags rather than smooth stitch lines. I only recommend the laser sold by Lighten Up Technologies, the Cubot folks, as it is a quality, bright focused, rechargeable battery operated laser. In this demonstration you will see the red dot. The camera does not accurately show the quality of the laser. It is much brighter and concentrated than it appears here. In the description of this video is a special link that allows for free shipping on one of these lasers. See the description and at the end of this video for more information and the link in the video description. Okay so let's get started. First let's start Cubot. Once it's up, we're going to select line quilting and be sure and click on the button for open path. We do not want uh, Cubot closing the path for us in this case. Trace along the stitch path from the beginning to the end. I'll speed up this video to save some time. Too bad you can't do it this fast, right? While watching this, you can see that I am using the laser dot 
not the presser foot, to follow the path. This is where direction arrows really help. Of course, you can use the undo for any points you select if necessary. For straight lines, you only need a point at the beginning and the end of the line. This will create a very straight line. The more points you set, the more likely you are to have minor errors in the placement of the points. This could end up in small zigs or small zags in your line. Although using only start and stop points can make it difficult if you have a thread break during stitch out. When using the percent restart, it will only allow you to start at the beginning or the end of the line since there are no set points or nodes between them. I generally set one at the beginning, one around the middle, and one at the end of the line unless it's a very long line where I add a couple more. Curves will require more set points for a smooth curve. The tighter the curve, the more set points will be necessary. You almost cannot use too many set points for curves. Go slow. Take your time. There is no reasonable limit as to how long you can take to complete this tracing. Once complete, select Done. This will show you the new digital design. If you are happy with it, select Save and give it a unique name. This will save the design in your saved folder. If you wish to move it to another folder, you can import it from the saved folder and place it in the folder that you wish. The drawback to this is that you cannot edit the design with Cubot once saved, as you might be able to do with more expensive design software. You can start over. Errors you notice before completing can be corrected by using the undo and go back to the point and reselect the points from that point on. At this point, the design is like any other design in your library. Here I will simulate a sash and use this newly created design to fill the sash using a chain function. That's all there is to it. You are only limited to your creativity. To create multi-segment designs, you would use the same process as we just did for each of the segments. Open Cubot Pro and merge the segments together into a single design. Either link or leave them unlinked to allow for jump stitch between segments. Once created, they can be stitched with either V3 or V3 Pro. I hope this has been useful. It's only a tiny part of the usefulness of line quilting function. Uh, please select the like below if you liked the video. And if you're not yet subscribed, click on the subscribe button for additional videos. If you also select notify, you'll get notified when a new video has been added. Please leave a comment of what you liked or what you didn't like to help me make better tutorials as well as what else you would like to see. The fine folks at Lighten Up Technologies, the Cubot folks, are offering a special deal on their laser with a special link that you'll find in the description. Uh, the special offer is free shipping on any laser purchased through this special link through March of 2022. The only caveat to this is it's only available for U.S. shipping. It cannot be used for international shipping. And it must be done by March of 2022 and only available with the special link. Uh, I believe that every Cubot person should have one of the Cubot lasers. It's a great laser. It's a focused, battery-operated, lasts a long time on the battery, and is rechargeable. I use it on every single quilt that I do, and I do over 100 quilts a year. I also, on my long arm, have a needle laser that shines uh, a laser right where the needle goes through the fabric. I use the Cubot one rather than that one because it works so much better and it's so much easier to use. So look in the description and use that link. I'm not affiliated directly with Cubot or least lighten up technologies, and I get no compensation out of this. This is strictly a special deal for you to save money on the shipping. 